this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Today we're taking a little trip off the farm once again. We're gonna go look at a farm truck. Something I realized the other day when we were up working with my stepfather is that if you have cows or horses or donkeys or pigs or goats or whatever, and you've gotta go in the field with your vehicle, it shouldn't be a nice vehicle, okay? I don't know if you guys noticed in the background of the video, I'll post a link right here, uh, the video where we went and looked at the cows and the uh, on the uh, ranch there with all the fencing. But my, I'm driving down my driveway by the way, okay? Not on the road. My stepfather's truck is a big piece of crap, but it's not a big piece of crap. It has a purpose, it's a farm truck and we need a farm truck. We have several trucks on the farm, but every one of them is fairly nice and way too nice to get around all that livestock, those big horses and donkeys and mules and, and, and cows and stuff. And what they'll do is bump into it and they'll bite it and chew on it and all kinds of stuff. So we need to find us a rig to use around the farm, something that's big enough to haul tools and hay bales and fuel and stuff like that. Something other than the gator, something we can go to the store on if we want to for a real gross and dirty. So we're going to go look at a Toyota pickup this morning. It's a 1988 Toyota. So I'm going to take you with me. We'll uh, get a shot of the truck, let you take a look at what we're thinking about. All right. So come on along with me. All right. Woo. <music> Guys, look at how nasty the weather is. The trees are so pretty and the fall colors are out, but it is just misty and nasty out here. Well, guys and gals, here it is. Mac Daddy 1988 Toyota pickup. Now, the pictures on Craigslist looked a whole lot better than the actual truck looks. It's got some good tires. Let's take you around and show you. So this is a one owner truck, guys. This is a one owner grandpa type truck, I guess. This guy's name is Melvin and he bought it brand new so really all i'm looking for is something that's reliable but there's some iffy kind of stuff here like crappy crappy body work going on which is a good negotiating factor for the farm truck uh, there's a replacement tailgate here obviously so the vehicle's probably been involved in an accident uh, you got some bad body work here too so a little bit of paint work or something's been done he said he waxed it but I'm not sure about this wax job. So all in all, it's in great shape for what we want it for. We want a farm truck, we want a beater, and this would be a perfect beater. They're asking $4,000 for it. We're gonna fire it up, take it for a drive, come on back and we'll tell you about it after that. The guy's coming to meet us right now. We're up in Virginia. We live about 15 minutes from Virginia, so we'll take this guy for a drive, see what she's all about, all right? All right, guys, so here's the truck. Here's the guy that is selling me the truck, and we're not buying that truck. Uh, we went over the truck with a fine tooth comb and it's supposedly a one owner pickup. We'll talk a little bit more. Let's get away from this guy real quick. He said he was a professional body man and he had engine work done to it. Uh, let's get away from him and then we'll talk about it. So I've got a place I put my camera FYI so I'm not driving and using the camera and holding it and driving and being a dummy like I have done in the past and I'm not going to do that anymore. So unless I'm on my driveway and I'll drive that way if I want to or on the gator anyhow so this guy's one owner 1988 Toyota pickup we looked under it it looked nice underneath he said he just spent twenty eight hundred dollars having the engine rebuilt and when we popped the hood you could see that the engine had been messed with Ooh, hey you tipsy so this guy said he had spent twenty eight hundred dollars rebuilding the engine well, I don't know where he took a Toyota engine and had it rebuilt for $2,800, but that seems a little bit excessive. You probably could have ordered a brand new engine for a thousand bucks and put it in there. I don't really believe him. Next thing I didn't believe was he had a professional do it, because if he did have a professional do it, why in the world would they have not replaced the valve cover gaskets and the little rubber gaskets that hold the valve covers on? If you spent that much money, you should have had that attention to detail. So there were numerous negative nuances, numerous negative nuances about this truck that I didn't like. It had some body work. I took you around the body. It had some body work and you really can't see this stuff on camera. You have to get out and see it in person. The body work was horrible, horrible, horrible. You could tell he just took a spray can and just and fixed up the body. So long story short, 
I didn't trust this guy. I think it was full of crap. He was trying to sell a vehicle that he pretended like he bought brand new. He told me it never been involved in an accident. It had a new tailgate on it. Then, then he said, well, you know, I did back into a tree. Well, the front end had been damaged also. Front fenders were full of Bondo, and I don't know if you guys know, but a brand new Toyota front fender only cost about 60 or 50 bucks. So the high beams didn't work on it. Things just weren't clicking. They weren't right. So we passed on it, and it's okay to pass on it. I did. So you might say that I'm whining about it. Well, I'm not whining about it, but I am looking for the best deal in a vehicle that I can get, and I'm not gonna buy it unless I can steal it. So he was asking $4,000 for it. I did make him an offer. I made him an offer of $2,500, and that's what it's worth to me. And in five years, if I wanted to sell it, I could always get my money back. That's what you need to know when you're getting ready to buy something. Look for shady work, okay? Shady stuff. So there was shady stuff that had gone on. Guys, another factor that affected my choice not to purchase was the fact that this guy said it didn't have any tags or insurance, but he just had it inspected. He had it inspected and the high beams didn't work and he didn't have any insurance or tags on it. How am I gonna buy a vehicle if I can't drive it? I can't get it up to 55, 60, 70 miles an hour. This guy was crazy. When I started the truck up, I pulled the key out the buzzer kept going well there's a reason why he wants to get rid of this truck guys this is a 1988 supposedly a pristine one owner pickup he's done with it that's why he wants to get rid of it that little buzzer is probably killing the battery every time he goes out to use it the battery's dead anyhow i thought i'd just take it with me and mrs stony ridge right over here hey and show you what we're doing this morning we're just going around looking at uh toyota pickup there's another one out there on Craigslist that looks like it's in a lot better condition. I don't expect a Mac Daddy clean pickup truck from 1988 or from the 80s, but I do expect that it won't have shady work done to it. I'll expect that the guy did a professional job. This guy was trying to do a professional scam job on me. He was trying to sell something that was not nice, it wasn't genuine, it wasn't taken care of. He's full of crap. Anyhow, if you can't steal it, don't buy it. Thanks a lot guys for watching the Stony Ridge Farmer today. All right. Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge, bring your wife and bring your kids, we're living life here in sweet.